So day three, we'll get underway with the Grade One Lexus Chase from the other side of the Irish Sea, and let's take a look at the field for this one. A pretty select field, I would think. And it's a three mile from Grade One, of course. At the top, we've got Dawn of the Warrior for Joshua Sutherland, Deep Dale for Darren Thompson, Insatiable Forest for Craig Allen, Silver Dollar City, Leon Van Rensburg, Time to Shine, Craig Allen, Belmore Stone, Graham Clutterbuck, Fern Brook, John Morgan, Lost on the Way, Joshua Sutherland, Magic Spell, Craig Beckwith, Nashville Spicebird, Vinnie Gerrard, and Vintage Trader for Leon Van Rensburg. That's your field of 11 then for this Grade One. And quick aerial sweep of the track called in and ready to go and away they go and it's going to be Fern Brook I think is going to take them along looks like Belmore Stone's interested in as they get to the first they open up with a ditch and they all get over that nicely with Silver Dollar City the back marker but Fern Brook the John Morgan and Gray has gone into the lead 15 more fences to take and Fern Brook leads by about half a length to Belmore Stone in second and deep down and Dawn of the New Warrior is lost on the way as they get to the second. Which they're all safely over again. And the three National Hunt Powerhouse stables are double represented here. Craig Allen, Leon Van Rensburg and Joshua Sutherland. And it's Fernbrook for John Morgan in the lead. Paired down team for him these days. Still gets his fair share of winners. Fernbrook leads by two. To Belmore Stone second. In a three length gap back to Dawn of the Warrior. And Stable mate lost on the way. With Deep Dale just tucked in behind them. Then the Van Rensburg pair Vintage Trader and Silver Dollar City together. As they get to this next ditch. A slow jump by. Time to shine. I've seen that one just drop to the back. And they've still got over two miles to go. And Fernbrook. Is two lengths clear of Belmore Stone in second as they get to this next one. And over that one, they all go a bit of a mistake. This time it was by Silver Dollar City, but it's Fernbrook who's bowling along in front. A front running John Morgan Gray, we've seen plenty of those in the SO7 League. And Fernbrook leads by three to four on Belmore Stone in second, and in Dawn of the Warrior third. Lost on the way is four and Deep Bell is five as they get to the sixth. All over that nicely as well. I feel just beginning to get a bit stretched now as Fernbrook continues to lead by a good three and a half lengths as they come past the big screen. They'll shortly come past the winning post and then go out on one final circuit as we get to see them from a winning post shot. See, it's Fernbrook through lens clear. Everybody else close enough though at the moment. Nothing too detached, no fallers so far. And Fernbrook leads by two and a half to three. To Belmore Stone in second, who's a similar distance ahead of the Sutherland pair. And Dawn of the Warrior and Lost on the way as they get over that next one. Good jump by Deep Bell on the inside. Then came Vintage Trader, Nashville Spicebird on the outside. Then a bit of a gap to Magic Spell and Silver Dollar City as they take the eighth all on Silver Dollar City right down on its nose again. Not jumping well. But it's Fernbrook. Who leads by two. To Belmore Stone in second. Over the ninth they go. They're all safely over that one as well. The Craig Allen pair still up the back. Probably going to come with a late run, those two. So to the Leon Van Rensburg pair are at the back as well. But it's Fernbrook that's got the lead only by a length now, though. As they take this next one, Belmore Stone are running second. And once again, Silver Dollar City a mistake. Time to shine wasn't foot perfect either. But Fernbrook over this next ditch. Half a length clear. Of Belmore Stone second, then Dawn of the Warrior and Lost on the Way. Gap back to Deep Dale, and then Nashville Spicebird, Vintage Trader getting closer. So to Magic Spell and Insatiable Forest. Silver Dollar City and Time to Shine have got work to do as they take the 12th. And all over that one safely, with Fernbrook still a neck in the lead from Belmore Stone going well in second. This is the fourth last, and 
all safely over that one with Fernbrook still in front we're being joined now by Belmore Stone in second gap of three lengths back to Dawn of the Warrior and Lost on the Way then comes Vintage Trader who's making ominous looking progress for any outside looks to be going best of all uh, Vintage Trader as they make their way down to the third from home and Fernbrook's kicked on again got over that ditch nicely slow jump by Belmore Stone now Dawn of the Warrior Vintage Trader and deep down a star into close then lost on the way Magic Spell getting into it then Nashville Spice Bird Insatiable Forest Silver Dollar City and time to shine look out of it but it's Fernbrook at the second last over it in the lead now joined by Vintage Trader who's suddenly come from nowhere to take it up it's Vintage Trader who's now gone into the lead being chased immediately by Lost on the way Fernbrook's trying to battle back then comes Belmore Stone Magic Spell he's running on they've got one more fence to take in the Lexus and it's Vintage Trader in the lead by two from Lost on the way in second Fernbrook is third then comes Belmore Stone and Magic Spell it's wide open still this one really Lost on the way takes it up as they get over the final fence and it's Lost on the way lands the lead natural Spice Bird was a faller. It's lost on the way in the lead. And the Grey Fernbrook is trying to battle back. Belmore Stone is trying to run. There's still a furlong to go. And it's lost on the way in the lead. From in second place, Fernbrook. Dawn of the Warriors coming through it. Belmore Stone. Magic spell on the outside. This is going to be a close one. It's Dawn of the Warrior. Magic spell. And Magic spell has swept into the lead. And Magic Spell is going to take the Grade 1 Lexus chase for Craig Beckwith. That's a pretty impressive win. Dawn of the Warrior was second, Belmore Stone was third. And then Insatiable Forest and Lost on the way. And Time to Shine never got going today at all. And a bit of a surprise that I think. Craig Beckwith taking that one with Magic Spell. With Dawn of the Warrior second for... Joshua Sutherland lost on the way for the same trainer third. Belmore Stone for Graham Crystal fourth. And Vintage Trader, who looked all over the winner, jumping the last for Leon Van Rensburg, was fifth. <laughs>